What's going on guys, this is Yasin and I uh, I really needed to make this video because a lot of people have asked me, Yasin, what do you think of Branded Tier Laments? And I was like, I'm not gonna lie, I actually have no idea how that deck is supposed to work. And uh, I actually t took a closer look to it and I realized that uh, the deck was actually really broken because a Branded Fusion in this deck is actually better than Branded Fusion in Despia, I wanna say. You can send the Terra Laments, which actually fuse using materials from the grave. So it's like, you get even more copies of Lubelion. You can afford to play one Fallon of Albaz and it's never like bad because you always shuffle it back. You can make wind on your opponent's turn. You can make so many negates, it's actually ridiculous. The synergy is on point. So before this video starts, make sure you like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch and Instagram. Let's try to smash the like button so we can get to 1000 likes and I will be making a live stream on this deck. This deck is currently the second best deck in the OCG right after Splite. So this is clearly a tier one deck and if Splite gets hit, this might definitely become the best deck. So now let's jump right into combo one out of three. And of course the deck profile coming up tomorrow. You already know it. That's always the drill in my YouTube channel. So uh, combo number one is assuming that you have something like, let's say, Branded Fusion with basically any tier laments monster. You're going to be sending Fallen of Albaz and uh, another tier laments monster. Go for Lubelion, pitch your tier laments in your hand, and then Chainlink 2 is going to be the tier laments that you just sent with Branded Fusion in order to shuffle back and make it Kalos. And now you're going to be making the Mirror Jade, of course, using the Lubelion and Fallen of Albaz. And the Kid Kalos is going to be able to search a uh, Tier Laments card, which is going to be the Meta Noise. This card is basically like a Book of Moon and then a Foolish. So very similar to Sinister Shadow games. Anyways, on opponent's turn, we uh, basically have a lot of interruptions because we have the Quick Effect Banish of Mirror Jade. And like I said, you're going to be able to Book of Moon a monster and then send, let's say, a uh, Hofinus or what, basically any Tier Laments monster that has the effect uh, to fuse using, you know, it and other cards from the graveyard or field or hand. So now you're going to be able to make uh, Predaplan Dragos Tapelia, just like that. So <laughs> three interruptions with only two cards. That's it, that's all. You have a quick effect banish, a Dragos Tapelia, which is kind of like an effect veiler or a sword sword Chi Jiao, and you have a Book of Moon. Not too bad, not too bad, but obviously it gets much better than this. All right, so I actually was looking at the OCG metagame breakdown the other day, and I uh, kind of noticed that people were playing Fusion Deployment, and I uh, I kind of wondered to myself, why are people playing that uh, that card? And I realized that not only can it summon Fallen of Albaz, which going second, you know, special summoning Fallen of Albaz directly from your deck can actually be not too bad because you can still use your normal summon on other stuff. And Fallen of Albaz is still like a baby super poly. But on top of that, you can summon Tier Laments Reno Heart. So this card, I want to say, has never been this good. It's actually ridiculous. So let's just say you have a Luber with a Fusion Deployment and any discard in the alphabet, look at what you can do. It's actually really sick. So... Normal summon a Luber, get yourself the branded fusion, and I'll go for fusion deployment, summon the uh, Reino Heart directly from your deck, which is a Foolish Burial, so immediately a one-card starter. Now you can fuse for the Keep Kalos, which can search again, and that's going to be searching the Meadow Noise for the second time, and I'll go for uh, Lubelion Pitch, and then uh, you're going to be making Mirror Jade here, and then go for the effect of Kid Kalo, so send itself back, uh, well, send itself to the graveyard, and revive back a Tier Laments monster from a grave. That is not like a cost, so you trigger both of the, their effects. So Kid Kalo sends five cards from the top of the deck to the grave when it's sent to the grave by a card effect, and Miru foolishes the top three cards of your deck to the grave on summon. So, similar to Card Trooper, and this is like a Needle Bug's Nest. So, in total, you mail eight cards. Imagine playing this engine in Infernoid. That could be pretty freaking insane. So, that's why that's the reason why people are playing like Lost Win, Breakthrough Scale, and etc. in this deck, because mailing cards is such a joke. It's so easy to achieve. So, yeah, assuming that you just mail like, let's say, a Shadal Monster and any Tier Laments, you can freaking make Winda on your opponent's turn. Like, how... Uh, uh, well, I mean, right now. And maybe you can make another Winda on your opponent's turn next turn, but it depends. So, yeah, you're going to be drawing one card and then set the meta noise. And on your opponent's turn, you can Book of Moon and look at what you can do. It, it We're not done yet because you can actually make another interruption on top of Book of Mooning and on top of the Winda and the Mirror Jade that you already had. So, yeah, you can make the um, <laughs> Kaleido Heart, assuming that you had, let's say, Reino Heart in the graveyard. And that's going to be able to shuffle back an opponent's card into the deck. And it has another ridiculous effect when it's sent to the graveyard. Basically, it summons itself right back. And then it foolishes for another Tier Laments card from your deck to the grave. <laughs> like, how ridiculously broken is this? And by the way, you didn't necessarily need a Luber for this combo. It could have been like Branded Opening. It could have been Branded Fusion. You didn't necessarily need Fusion Deployment for that combo either. It could have been Rado Heart or the Field Spell or Terraforming. The world is your oyster. So many ways to actually go about this combo. 
and it, it really makes a lot of interruptions. Like, this is insanity, because I've never, like, even showed Mirror J triggering its effect, but that also makes you go plus one, because you're going to be able to search Branded Fusion next turn, and that's gonna be, like, an immediate OTK follow-up. And on top of that, as a small little added bonus, we obviously have El Shala Winda, which is extremely freaking annoying to deal with. So, ridiculously freaking insane combo, but combo number three is going to blow your mind. Alright, so if you've managed to make it all the way through to combo number three, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that a lot, and now let's jump right into it. So, very, very just kind of random hand of me just skillfully drawing the one uh, one of instant fusion but you really don't need this for the combo at all and then i guess branded opening and shaylin with like any discard but this is this doesn't have to be exactly that uh, i'm not even using my normal summon in this combo just just to show you how ridiculously unfair it is so yeah instant fusion for the kid kalos just showing off that this is a one card starter that gets you so far in the game it's actually not even funny and branded opening by the way doesn't discard for cost so it triggers the effect of every single tier elements monster. So not only does it facilitate fusion summoning, but on top of that, it gets you a luber that can search branded fusion and summon even more monsters such as Mirror Jade and like, let's say, Drago Stapelia or Winda or stuff like that. It's ridiculous. So now you're going to be searching the branded fusion and you're going to be discarding the uh, Shaylin here and then go chain link 1, chain link 2, so that's going to be, uh, well, the Shaylin, by the way, was discarded off of the Reino Heart's graveyard effect, so you would discard a tier Lament's card from your hand, and then you revive back the Reino Heart, technically it works the other way around, but you legally need a tier Lament's card in your hand in order to use the graveyard effect of Reino Heart, and now you're going to be fusing using the uh, Luber and the uh, whatever tier Lament's card that you sent, and that's going to be making a Masquerade, and now you're going to be sending a uh, Meru again, which you will not be triggering its effect, and now you go Branded Fusion for uh, Shadow Beast and Fallen of Albaz. Make Lubalion, Chain Link 1, Fuse for Mirror Jade, Chain Link 2, Shadow Beast, draw one card, and you're going to be making Mirror Jade. Of course, I'm good at the game and I drew Fusion Destiny, but obviously you don't really need it. But if you draw Fusion Destiny, look at what you can accomplish, it becomes even better. Anyways, we're not done yet because uh, we still have a lot of options here. So yeah, send the Kid Kalos, revive back the Meru, send freaking 8 cards from the top of your deck to the grave. Like, are you freaking kidding me? And then, uh, yeah, Fuse for Winda, because that wasn't enough. And then Fusion Destiny for Phoenix Enforcer. I feel like I could almost U-Link my opponent with Fusions. Like, this is such a gorgeous board to look at. Winda, Mirror Jade, DPE, Masquerade, Gar like, broken, insane, stacked graveyard. And it gets even better, because on our opponent's turn, we can go Phoenix Enforcer, pop a card on our, our opponent controls, and our own Tier Lament's monster... And it's going to trigger its graveyard effect to fuse again. <laughs> so we can chain block like crazy. We can fuse on our opponent's turn. We can make the Kaleido Heart again. Shuffle back another card. So j just look at the amount of freaking plays I have. This is this is just way too much, man. <laughs> How many interruptions was, was that? Phoenix Enforcer for one. Kaleido Heart for two. And then Mirror Jade. Uh, Winda. And I have Masquerade. So it's like four interruptions. Plus you take 600 damage every single time you try to breathe. Uh, good luck, have fun. Uh, you will not have fun against this because <laughs> this, this is very oppressive and you don't need that many cards to be able to play because as you have seen from combo number one, a simple two card combo already ends on three interruptions. So even if you draw like if you draw like a full hand, you're going to be able to do way more than that. And if you get interrupted, well, you don't really lose that much because like the cards trigger in the grave. So you don't have to like sacrifice a lot of cards from your hand to even do anything so yeah that's pretty much it for this combo video let me know how you guys actually think about this deck in the comment section below as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys very soon peace